One of the most important and critical things in the game is that you need to be able to not only enhance your weapons, level up your weapons, and also rank them up. Without that, you're not going to be able to be kill different enemies faster. Now, how do you do this? Well, today I'm going to be showing you exactly what you need to do because this is probably, besides leveling up in the game, this is going to be the most important thing that you need to do now. So first of all, what you need to do is you're going to need to reach rank mastery rank three. As you are leveling up in the game and you reach to mastery rank one, two, three, four, five, and so on, you are able to see the different benefits that each of the rank gives you. Now, once you reach to mastery rank three, that's where everything starts cooking. You guys already know to be able to level up you, um, your mastery rank, you come to this location, which is in Albion, and here you are able to rank up. Now, once you reach level three, you're going to head to this other location. And this is where everything starts happening. So imagine you grab the best weapon in the game and you love the weapon, but the weapons are level 10 or very below and you like want to make it really powerful. Though, well, this is what you got to do. You're going to come to this location, which is called Nicole, the repair station workbench. In this location is where the magic starts happening. So as you are able to reach rank three on your mastery, you're going to be able to unlock weapon level transmission. And as you are able to click in here, you're going to see the different weapons. In this case, I love this machine gun. The, uh, the Cygnus it hits very powerful. I don't have the best modules yet, but this thing cooks. Now, let's just say I want to select it. Now, after you select it, this one, as you're able to see there, it has a DPS of 1058, the ATK, rounds per magazine, and the firing rate. Now, I'm able to see here from all these weapons that I have here, I can transmit all those all that power. So I'm going to choose the biggest one, which is going to be this one. And this is a rare weapon. And as you're able to see there, it has a very high ATK, rounds per magazine, all of that stuff, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to equip it. Now, from this location, see that I need face exchanger. Now, where the heck am I going to get a face exchanger so I'm able to level up my weapon? Well, this is what you got to go do next. So we're going to head back and we're going to talk to none other than this lady. She is Anais. She is the one that has the materials to be able to upgrade our weapons and make them very powerful as you are leveling up in the in the game. Now, you're going to get the face exchanger. It just, I mean, you're going to be doing this, so I would purchase a bunch of them. Now, it says here, I need a super alloy. Now, how do I get super alloy and research material? Very simple, guys. This is what you got to do. You look into your inventory, and you're going to see all the different weapons that you have. You're going to dismantle. And this is another tip that I'm going to give you. When you are starting to play the game, you got to start dismantling things. Because the more you dismantle, the more materials you're going to get. Now, for the sake of the video, I already dismantled a few guns and I have enough of those components. All you got to do next is come to the her. Then you're going to go into the hands material face exchanger and you're able to see there. Now we got 63 out of 50. We're going to do a research request. And we're going to get, there you go, starting the face exchanger. Now it says it's going to take uh, two minutes to be able to do this. If you want to improve the uh, speed, all you have to do is it's going to accelerate the cost of one. So for this, we're going to do this. And then uh, we don't have enough of that. So we're just going to have to wait. Okay. Once you wait, all you have to do is come here and claim it. We got confirmed. And then it, she goes through the whole process. And then we are able to get this. Now we go back to where we got we got to go back to the workbench and we are going to go once again go in here weapon level transmission and then the weapon that we want to increase and let's say we want to do the following which is going to be this one or we're going to go with this one 21 it's not bad it's a really good one and there you go and then weapon level transmission and now you have a weapon from six to 10 and that is how you're able to um, level up your weapons, uh, which makes them stronger. 
or you're able to rank them up. Let's take a look at the weapon. Once again, there you go, level 10 now. So that is how you're able to do this weapon, ultimate weapons, or what, um, whatever type of weapon you get is the same process. So make sure, once again, you're playing the game, and as you are starting it, make sure you dismantle because you're going to need a lot of the materials that you get from the weapons. Also, do take advantage if you are watching this video and for the next five days, you get 30% uh, more additional items from your mailbox because the developers have given that to us because of the problems that have been happening to the game. I hope this video was very informative. I try to make it as simple as possible for those of that are just stepping into the game and also if you didn't know that as well also our creator code is in the description so don't forget to hook us up with that once again thank you for watching we'll see you guys on the next video